come around the bend here and I can finally see close up to where I'm going to be camping. I couldn't be more happy with what I'm seeing. Uh, actually even a little better looking than I was anticipating. Big grassy hillsides. Not, I mean it's steep, but not terribly so. Not cliffed out. Great glassing even from down here it looks like. I'm really getting excited now. Turn the camera on here so you can see. Right there, those hillsides are like a camp beneath them. Slow going. Who knew? Throwing a rifle, all your hunting gear, camera gear, pack raft, a dry suit, a life preserver, and food and camping gear for a week in your pack will make it heavy. seconds they disappear. Well I made it here at uh, my uh, planned camping spot and uh, got here and just surrounding me is just a lot, a lot of elk. I've seen, I think, three groups of elk, maybe 75 in all. I want to see some deer, of course, but uh, I feel pretty good about just the amount of game. There's got to be some deer up in here. Just everywhere I look, there's elk right now, though. So uh, there's a big drainage behind me. I think I'm going to head up that tomorrow morning early, try to get up there another hour or so before light try to get to a good glassing spot and I just I'm really confident I can find some deer up there this is really good looking country even better than I thought just a lot of open grassy terrain for grazing there's got to be some deer in there somewhere so feeling pretty optimistic four more days of hunting and that day after that I need to float out so I've got four full days I can feel like I can make something happen in that time My family's story is one with significant ties to the outdoors. Both of my grandfathers worked in the outdoors their entire lives. My grandfather on my dad's side of the family worked in the forests of Western Oregon as a logger and the owner of a small one-man sawmill. In his early years, my father worked alongside him in the sawmill and in the private timberlands in the western foothills of the Cascade Range. My grandfather on my mother's side was a farmer his entire adult life in Oregon's Willamette Valley. Growing up, I and my cousins worked on the farm each summer. When we weren't working outdoors on the farm, my extended family often came together on camping trips in the wilds of the nearby Cascade Range or out on the coast. Later in the fall, my family would join up with my cousins and aunts and uncles on joint hunting trips in Eastern Oregon. Years before I could begin hunting myself, I and my cousins would explore the forests, creeks, and hillsides near our camp while our dads were out hunting for the day. I mention all this just to explain how significantly the outdoors figured into my earliest experiences in life. I spent my first birthday in Banff National Park in Canada. Back at home, 
we lived on a small, five-acre plot of heavily forest land. I recall spending most of my days off exploring the timbered hillside behind our house. We've got the first game I've seen up this canyon so far. I saw some earlier down at my camp this morning for daybreak, but uh, we got a few elk up there. Just boatloads of elk everywhere. Seen a lot more elk than I've seen deer. But they're out and grazing, so that's a good sign. They're quite a ways up there, but uh, we're just getting started. Let's see what we can find. Well, that's good news right there. The first deer of the day. There's a little baby buck in there. Not anything I'm interested in shooting right now. Might do it the last day. Actually, probably would. It's only 250 yards. I could easily take a shot. It's And they're just milling around, really working slow. So, plenty of opportunities to shoot if I wanted to. Just gonna give it a minute. There's a little draw to the right of them. I just want to make sure there's nothing bigger already down there. I was wondering if they might not be down in this little canyon. Uh, I have a thing on my phone that shows me the track of the sun, and it apparently is not gonna hit down in this canyon at all today. Steep enough sides that it'll be behind that ridge the entire day. It's pretty cold down in here compared to up in the sun, but there are three deer just in the right kind of terrain that I expected them in, so that's nice. About another mile up here, I'm going to get out into a big open basin with a bunch of finger draws coming in, ridges that are in the sun. I think I'm going to set up there. There's actually a trail on the top of that ridge that I might go today or tomorrow. Maybe even the next day, one of those days, get up top and really get some good glassing in. I think I'll be spending my entire time in here though. This is, there's just so much terrain. Behind me on these ridges, there's a bunch of draws coming in that also look very, very promising. So, good news, that's some deer. Oh, I found a spot that I'm gonna try to make it back to right here by daybreak. To my left here, there's a point I'm gonna go to right now. Um, there's a convergence of several drainages too, actually, and a bunch of little draws coming in as well. A lot of good glassing, I think, from right here. It just looks phenomenal. Nobody's up here. I'm just all by myself, so I, this, these deer would be completely undisturbed. I've still got two and a half hours tonight, though, so I'm gonna go up there and probably just spend the evening or the afternoon here until dark up here unless I see something. This just looks really deary to me. There's got to be something up in here. Quiet. It's like the trails barely exist anymore. I doubt many people come up in here. It would be a good camper on that here for something in the future. See the snow up just up over there. So I'm liking it right here. Let's do this. Lots of deer sign as well. Okay, up to this point up here. There's a good what looks like a good vantage point. Give me kind of a 360 kind of view. A lot of different good looking country. I think I think I'll come up here tomorrow morning. This just looks marvelous. Relatively easy to reach. Just a little push at the end here to 
to get up here. It's gonna give me miles of glassing. I'm typically entirely concerned with just putting meat in the freezer. I absolutely am on this trip, but these don't, these tags don't come along very often. And I know there's some nice bucks, old mature bucks in here. I'll give another day or two looking for one like that before I really start honing in on meat. I appreciate so much the choices my parents made to raise my siblings and I in the outdoors. Long road trips to wild landscapes across the American West and Canada were the things I dreamed of most. It's why I am motivated so strongly to raise my own two boys in much the same way. My wife had strong ties to the outdoors growing up in Idaho. Together, we're trying to raise two young boys who will hopefully have equally strong memories of growing up in the wilds. Eating a little bit of a late lunch here. Almost looks like seven o'clock at night, but it's only 2.40. Combination of having a deep canyon like this that doesn't get a lot of light, even in the best of the year, and then the fact that I'm hunting in late November. I think down the bottom I've got about six hours of direct daylight. Or actually in places there's none, but um, down by camp about six hours of light in the main canyon. Doesn't give me a lot of time to uh, get out and hunt. Down in the bottom there is my camp. That last little bit of sunlight just to the left of that. Just a few miles to get up this high. Not seeing much right now, but I think I'll still come back in the morning. Check this spot out. wild. Couldn't tell what that was. There was something up against the ridge there that was spooking those elk. And then it took off and it was, a, I think, a big golden eagle. Never seen that happen before. I thought for a second it was maybe a small black wolf, but uh, it's just an eagle. things to see out here. Set 
of light here now. Finally spotting some uh, deer. Taking their time getting out of the open tonight. Elk seem to be everywhere, but these deer, I've seen three groups now pop out in the last few minutes. Uh, all does. But uh, better than nothing. Almost out of light, so I give it another five, ten minutes and then start packing up and heading back. I think I've seen enough that I will come back up in here. I might try a little different spot up higher if I can get up here early enough. circle. I saw a deer in the last 20 minutes of light, so uh, I feel like I'm on the right track for finding some deer in the one I want. I'll just have to see. I'm going to get back, get packed up, get back to camp, make dinner, get to bed quick, and get up early and get back up here. Those deer that I've been watching are right up at the top there. Just a couple rim rocks down. All I can see is does right now though. We'll get a better angle up here in a bit. This ridge is gonna connect up here in a bit, another 500 feet elevation higher, connect with a trail that'll bring me around back down this valley this evening. So I'll probably spend somewhere up in here tonight before dusk watching this area. Haven't been up here yet in the sun, so hopefully we'll spy up a buck. <laughs> 